Okay, so for question 1a, we just need to remember our index laws. When we are multiplying, we add the powers. So we end up with x to the power of 7 over x squared. After that, when we are dividing, we subtract our powers. So 7 take away 2 is 5. And that's our final answer for 1a. For 1b, we've got 2x cubed to the power of 4. So what we need to remember there is that we are doing 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. And then we are doing x cubed to the power of 4, which is x to the power of 12. Because when we are raising a power to a power, we multiply the indices. And then finally, for question C, a little bit harder. I would first of all begin by simplifying the denominator of my fraction. So I'm going to keep my numerator as 9x to the half. And on my denominator, I'm going to do 27 to the power of 2 thirds. Now, 27 to the power of 1 third is 3, because we take the cube root of 27. And after that, we square it. So we do 3 squared, which is 9. And then if we've got x to the power of negative 2 to the power of 2 thirds, that gives me x to the power of negative 4 thirds, because when I am raising a power to a power, I multiply the indices. Now, after that, in terms of working out the answer, we are doing this 9 and this 9 can cancel out with each other. So the calculate, like the bit we're left with, is x to the power of a half divided by x to the power of negative 4 thirds. Now, when we are subtracting, we, well, sorry, when we are dividing, we subtract the indices. So effectively, what we need to do here is 1 half take away negative 4 thirds. That calculation is then the same as 1 half plus 4 thirds. I'm not going to go through here how you would add fractions, but when you add those two fractions together, we should get an answer of 11 over 6. And so the answer to part C is x to the power of 11 sixths.